The last tutorial will be on how to change the color, how to make any last changes, and how to print your shoe. The color is pretty simple. You're going to go up to the top here where it says default. And now you can take some time to scroll through and figure out what color shoe you might want. The first color you choose, it's going to create this color for your entire shoe. First, choose a background color. So I'm going to choose this purple color as my background color. So once you choose your background, pause right now and choose a background color. After you've cho chosen the background color, if you go over to the left side, and now we're going to find the different extrusions. We're going to change those colors accordingly. So I'm going to just change all of extrusion 2. So you click on extrusion 2. You go back up to the color area. And now I should be able to change just extrusion 2's colors. I don't like the turquoise and the purple together. So I'm going to make it yellow. And I'm now going to do that for the extrusion for the mirror. Let's find that yellow again. And I'm going to do that for my laces. So with anything in this program with the color and the material, if you just mm -hmm. click on the extrusion, you can change that color specifically for that extrusion. I'm going to use my orbit tool to check it out. Okay, that looks good. That's what I want my shoe to look like. And then I'm going to go back a little bit and I just want to take a look and make sure that my fillets are exactly how I want them to be. So we're going to practice using um, this side panel again. Again, if you go over top of each feature, this fillet shows the one on the top front, this shows the bottom, etc, etc. I'm going to actually change or try to change a couple of fillets to change the look of my shoe. So fillet 2 I think could be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to right click and edit this feature. You don't have to change any of your features at this time. Uh, you can, but you don't have to. And you see if you click on it, it's going to revert it back to what it looked like before you made any of the other changes. So I'm just going to add some numbers, press the check mark, and it's going to make a couple quick changes. I might also try to change this fillet, which I believe is fillet 3. So I'm going to right click, edit feature, and see what a bigger fillet might do. Check mark. And now I have changed my shoe slightly to make it a slightly more round shoe all around. I am now happy with my shoe. And when you are at this point that you are happy with your shoe, I'm going to show you how to print. I want two pictures of your shoe. I want you to turn it so that you can see this front face, you can see the top, and you can see your laces. You can use the orbit tool or I'm just going to click the home button. And I'm going to right click out of the tool. Whatever you see on your screen at the moment will be what prints out on the printer. Go to File, go down to Print, and make sure that 
the printer says cvschools.org slash ghtech and then press OK. Now I want to make sure everyone has included the text in their in their files. So the next thing you're going to print is we're going to turn take that orbit tool, turn your design so that we can see the back and the other side of the shoe. So this one might look a little bit different, but you should be able to see the back with your name, the other side with the exact same design and the top of the shoe. So it should look something similar to this. Right click and get out of the orbit button. Go back over to file, print, make sure this is the printer, and then press OK. You are now finished with the shoe tutorial. You can exit out of these tutorials and go get your designs from the printer and hand them in to Miss Sarley.